Hello everyone and welcome to this short but very important lecture on three game changers in the industry. Remember, you all know how severe the competition is and how dentistry is floating in our country in the current times. Hi, I'm Dr. Sujit Pardeshi, a bestseller author of a book on dental practice management, New Age Dentalpreneur, an international speaker on dental practice management and the practice growth expert. I'm working in this field and helping thousands of dentists across India to grow their practices by hundreds of thousands of rupees every month. And I have more than 1000 success stories. And all those success stories are based on three important game changers which should be applied in day-to-day -day dental practice. And if you follow all of them, you will be unstoppable in your practice. At the same time, if you miss even one of them, trust me, even if the rest two are awesome, you will still not be able to reach the pinnacle and not able to enjoy your dental practice for sure. So let's quickly jump to the screen and I want to share with you what is that secret which is helping thousands of dentists across this country and how you can use it to apply in your practice. At the outset, my very special and sincere thanks to the AP State Dental Council who has given me this opportunity to share my views and my expertise in the field of practice growth for the state of um, Andhra Pradesh and the dentists. So I always say that it's only a couple of percentage of people in this world who create history. And irrespective of the country, irrespective of the gender, irrespective of the education, irrespective of the field with, in which you work, this number never changes. It's always a handful of people or the minority of people who do the majority of the things. And naturally, it's always the minority of the people who rule the majority of the things. You will always find that the majority of world's money is in the hands of minority people. Majority of the world's power is in the hands of minority people. Majority of the world's work is done by the minority of the people. Trust me, it's good to be in minority because anyway, there is less competition there. So, you who is listening to this video is a proof in itself that you are part of that 2% who really want to do something different than those rest of 98% outstanding people. I call them outstanding because they are standing somewhere outside. You are watching this that itself proves that you are part of that 2% who want to make a change in yourself, in your practice and in the society you live in. Dentistry is an exciting field and it is one of the fields in the world who has traveled a huge distance in a very short time. From here to here, we have traveled a long distance in less than 100 years. If you remember G.V. Black's classification, it's not even 100 years and there is nothing black and white in dentistry. Everything has become so colorful except maybe the x-rays. And for those of you who have roaring dental practices, dentistry is something like this. But then as it is said, every coin has two sides. So does dentistry. The other side of dentistry is equally dark. I have traveled the length and breadth of the country and seen a lot of youngsters who are confused why I became a dentist. And then there are many of them who think that they are trapped into this monstrous cycle of dentistry. I've seen a lot of them coming to me with their degree certificates and asking, sir, what should I do with this? That's a problem. By the way, he's my son who is trapped into the rat race or the monstrous cycle. So people are confused. They don't know what to do. Every day morning you wake up and you see something like this, either in newspaper flyers or the local cable and so on. You move out of your house and you see something like this. You go to the fuel station, you see something like this. And I'm sure as a practicing dentist, as a diehard, hardcore dental practitioner, you don't love this. You don't like it. 
And instead of living profession, people are living profession. And that's a sad reality. I remember somebody told me, to become a dentist, there is a lot of scope. On a lighter note, I am still searching for this man who asked me to become a dentist. But the thing is, we are dentists now. So instead of just crying, let's do something. I'm sure all of us would like to have a wonderful five-star kind of clinic. A beautiful waiting room. The moment patient come, you make him sit in the single room or occlusal fossa. Everybody would love to have a dream house. A beautiful vacation and a dinner in aquarium. If any of these five pictures motivate you, what's the best way to do it or achieve it? Remember, I have helped thousands of dentists to grow their practices by millions of rupees every year. But nobody came to me and offered a free dinner here. Remember, the best way to predict the future is to create it for yourself. And I want you to do something today which will shape your future tomorrow simply because your future is always created by what you do today and not tomorrow. So what to do and how to do? Remember this forever. And I said it eight years ago, people didn't believe. And now they are seeing the heat around them. And then this is how it is. Dentistry is all about 3M. Marketing, management and professional mastery. One of the biggest problem with majority of the dentists is they focus only on clinical skills. Whether in college, graduation, post-graduation, once they move out of the college, conferences, courses, everything. The problem is, gone are those days when the number of dentists were less. You start practicing and it works. I still remember, I am practicing dentist for 21 years now. And we never had to do any dental marketing. There was no internet, no online digital marketing, nothing was there, no social media. We didn't have to even bother about whether our clinic is clean or not. Of course it was, but then it was not a point. You start practicing and people were there. I still remember the average number of OPD in my practice in the second month was 21. Don't you think that was wow? But now the scene is completely different. Unless you do good marketing, people will not come to know about your practice. Unless you do effective management, that means effective patient consultation, but people will not say yes to your treatment. And unless you do very good treatment, people will not come back to you. It's not only about clinical skills. If you want to take one sentence from this video, and from this presentation, remember, all 3M are equally important. It is the effective marketing which ensures that you get a lot of patients in your wedding. It is effective management or patient consultation which ensures that they say yes to your treatment. And it is effective good clinical skills which ensure that whatever you project through marketing and promise during patient consultation, you have the same skill set. All 3M are the three game changers of your practice. So the first game changer is dental marketing. Remember, dental marketing is an ongoing thing. It's not a one-time thing. And it starts even before your practice starts. Then you plan the marketing, you set the foundation, you launch your practice, you attract the leads, Convert those leads through your patient consultation into your patients. Satisfy those patients by good clinical skills so that they will become your loyal patients. You retain them by reviews and refine your practice with their feedbacks. So dental marketing, whether it is internal marketing or external marketing, is the first game changer of your practice. The second game changer of your practice is to have the best of clinical skills best of equipments and all the treatment facilities. I'm not saying you start a five-star clinic with all ultra-modern gadgets on day one. But remember, 
eventually you should have all the latest equipments, all the latest treatment facilities available in your dental setup. This direction is important. I always say this, progress has nothing to do with speed but direction. Make sure that your direction is right. And if your direction is right, slowly but surely, you will surely reach your dental practice for sure. So do best of clinical skills, do best of marketing, and most importantly, do best of management. And management is nothing but learning art of practice management. Practice management is not a software where you keep all the records. Management is a science. It's an essence of life. Unless you learn management, you will not be able to effectively communicate with the, to the patient. Unless you understand this science, you will not be able to convert the patient for the treatment. You will always face the staff problem. Remember, if staff is the problem, just change the staff and the problem should get solved. But does it happen that way? Why not? Simply because it's never the staff which is the problem. It is staff management which is the problem. And I'll tell you what, this is what Dell Carnegie Institute said, that 85% of your financial success is nothing but your communication, leadership, negotiation, presentation, personality. Shockingly, only 50%, 15% your technicals. Similarly, another survey was done in the world. What makes a person successful? Irrespective of the business profession. This is what they found. That 87 to 88% of success is because of the soft skills. And your domain skill. Domain skill is your clinical skill. Now, these two surveys were done by world-renowned institutions. Now, your domain skill is your dentistry. Your soft skill is something different. Now, this doesn't mean that your clinical skills are less important. Please don't misunderstand this. Your clinical skills are equally important. I told you, all three are equally important. But here I want to highlight that don't focus only on clinicals. And what are the soft skills? Soft skills are nothing but your communication skill, your presentation skill, your management skill, leadership skill, crisis handling skills, and interpersonal skills. So if you can communicate effectively, you will be able to convince that patient for sure. It is the soft skills that add extra icing on your cake. Marketing helps you to give more patients. Soft skills and effective consultation help you to convince the patient and good clinical skills help you to retain the patient, to satisfy the patient and make them your loyal patients. So remember, whatever I covered was just icing on the cake or just top of the iceberg. The tip simply because there is a lot to learn in the field of marketing and management. All I want you to focus on all 3M in the future. If you want to stay connected with me, you can just follow me on Facebook, YouTube. This is my YouTube channel where I share a lot of good videos on practice management. Uh, I have an Insta profile as well. You can just follow me. Um, this is my bestseller book on dental practice management called New Age Dental Trainer. Right? So whatever time I had, I tried to give you a very powerful insight of how to grow your dream practice because it's all about 3M. All the best to you and thank you so much for this opportunity. Keep growing and keep connected. Thank you again.